guys, it's Tomatoda. A while back, Vograce gave me a $250 coupon to spend on their website to make more video content for them. So I thought I'd make an update of my how to order from Vograce video. And hopefully this one will be more comprehensive and better than the last one. This video will just focus on the ordering part and my next video will focus on the timeline of speaking to my representative and actually getting my products and the actual product review. Before we begin, first and foremost, make sure that your art is in CMYK. If it isn't, figure out how to do it, look on Google. I personally, like majority of the time, just started making my art in CMYK from the beginning just to avoid the complication, I guess. Also, the two programs I use is Procreate on my iPad to draw and Photoshop on my laptop to assemble the templates. Now let's start with number one, basic charm ordering. Here is my drawing. I drew it on Procreate and exported it to Photoshop on my laptop. But as you can see, I already fucked up because this is an RGB, not CMYK. But let's just pretend it's in CMYK the website they give you several different options and if i wanted to just order a regular charm that has the same image on the front and the back all i gotta do is submit the image i don't need to like mess with anything just give it as it is you know easy peasy lemon squeezy but if i want to order a charm with a different design on the back i actually need to submit a second artwork on a separate layer here is my original drawing. According to Vograce, the back image shouldn't be aligned with the front image in this way. You have to horizontally flip it over. Here, I'm going to demonstrate it physically so that hopefully it makes more sense because thinking about it kind of confused me too. But as you can see, I am cutting out an image that has a distinct shape. Pretend that this second one that I'm drawing on is the back image. That's why it looks quote unquote different. Now, if I overlap them facing the same way towards me, the shape fits, but the back side is not the image that I want. In this case, it's white and blank. So in order to fix that, I need to actually flip over my second image so that it is actually facing the table. But by keeping it exactly the same, you can see that the overlap doesn't fit. The blank white back from the second image actually sticks out of, you know, the front image. So instead, my backside art needs to be flipped horizontally. It needs to be mirrored. By doing that, when I attach them together, the back side is no longer blank and there is no wrong overlapping from any angles. It's more important to get this part right when you have text involved. If you have just one single same artwork for both the front and the back, the text is going to be shown in the opposite way when you flip over your charm. So this is when the double design comes in handy, if you care, that is. So I'm just gonna arrange my artwork where my front is on the left and my back is on the right. It doesn't really matter, but I just wanted to do that. And I'm gonna add a third layer, which is gonna be called the whole layer. So when you make charms, the manufacturer will know that this is where the hole is supposed to go. It won't actually show up as an X. One awesome thing about Vograce is that you don't have to make the cut lines yourself because I honestly don't know how the fuck to do that. They do it all for you. But I do recommend creating a pretend outline just to imagine how your charm will look overall. Like if you have extra shit in weird places, it could stick out in a weird way and overall it just won't look balanced. Also, the size I'm going to order these in will be 2 inches. Now, the 2 inches refers to the longest length of your art, including the hole and the cut line, not just the digital image itself. 
So as you can see, within the 2 inches on my ruler here, I gave it enough room to include the bottom of the cut line and the top of the whole cut line. This is how it would probably look in my hands, like in real life in my hands, or compared to an egg slicer. Sorry, it was just the only other item I had nearby. But once I'm happy with the finished product, I'm going to remove the background to make my main art transparent, or else the charm probably won't have clear borders. And I'm gonna import it into my computer as a PSD file, just to double check the look. Now I'm back here on my laptop on Photoshop, and I'm going to actually change the name from Artwork 1 and Artwork 2 to just front and back for less confusion, cause why not? The website says like Artwork 1 and 2, but honestly, I haven't had any problems with just calling it front and back. Even when I do like other files, I just say like front, middle, back, and I haven't had an issue. So just be clear on uh, which order these layers are gonna be. And I'm going to save it as a PSD file so that when Vogue Race opens it up, they can see each layer separately. I don't want it to be one flat image. Now it is time to order. Normal clear acrylic charm, double sided, different design. I always get the front side epoxy when it's an available option because um, their epoxy coating, it heals shallow scratches when fire is applied. Size will be two inches, no accessories. I'm going to add my file. And if I order six or more charms, I can get a discount. So if I order five charms, it's gonna be $14.95. But if I order seven, it's gonna be 1337, bitches! Moving on. Number two, I'm gonna show you guys how to order the 3D layer charms. These charms are my favorite. The 3D means that there is an acrylic layer between the front and the back image, creating a 3D effect. Single board means that there is only one acrylic, while double board means that there is an extra acrylic at the end. And y'all know I like them epoxy layers, so I'm gonna go for the double board. Now, I'm gonna submit three image layers for this. The front layer is going to be the Tamagotchi image with the screen hollowed out. The middle layer is only going to be the screen of the Tamagotchi, and the back layer is going to be the front and the middle combined, because the back side of the 3D is just a flat image. I renamed the layers Artwork 1, 2, and 3, and like I said, you could just do front, middle, and back as well. Now I'm gonna make the background transparent and transfer it over to Photoshop. I actually forgot to add the separate whole layer, so I added that in and saved the PSD file and moved on to ordering. No accessories, here's the file. I'm going to order seven and submit. But there is a minimum order of 10, so let's change it to 10, which then the discount chart doesn't make sense, but you know, whatever, here, here it is in my cart. Charm number three, hot stamping. This is a new option that I haven't tried out, um, but it's pretty simple. There's going to be two layers to your image, your hot stamping layer at the front. This is going to be gold, silver, etc. And your actual like background overall image uh, below. So I'm going to rename this one hot stamping and the other one will be called artwork. I do not want any holes on this acrylic. And when I don't add the whole layer or even if I write a note at checkout that I don't want any holes, they always ask me, do you really not want any holes? Or when they send me the cut line proofs, they forget and draw holes anyways. So I have to correct them, which is why just to clarify things from the beginning, I'm going to add an extra layer here called no hole. No fucking hole. Do not draw a hole. And the reason why I don't want holes on these acrylics is because I want to make them into hair clips. And as you can see, I ordered everything as usual. Moving on to non-charm items. Number four, I'm going to show you how to order products that require a template. I wanted to try out these 3D mouse pads, but instead of girl titties, I wanted to be big tanuki testies. Unfortunately, due to my limited drawing skills, they look more like thick legs than, you know, ball sacks. But this was the best I could do. 
For these 3D mouse pads, I'm going to download the template onto my iPad. You can go to the Vograves website and they have a template section. You just download it and here I opened it in Procreate. Unfortunately, I did notice that their mouse pad file was an RGB. So I copied the outline and pasted it into a CMYK canvas. Make sure that your replica CMYK canvas has the same specs and size as the original before you paste. Here I am using this outline as a guide to draw my tanuki. Normally, I just copy and paste already drawn artwork into the templates, but this mouse pad was kind of an odd shape. Like it wasn't like a square or a circle. It was this blob and you know, I wanted the testicles to fit with these like boob sections. So I went for this method. And when I am done, I'm going to export it to Photoshop. In Photoshop, I'm going to hide not delete, just hide all the unnecessary layers and just zoom in and out to check like how it works. Just see if it looks good in detail. I'm going to save it as a PSD file and put in my order. Unfortunately, my file was too large, so I couldn't upload it directly onto the website. But do not fear, because I can just order it without uploading a file. And then I'll leave in a note in the checkout box and somebody at Bograce will reach out to me about the missing file later and I can send it to them via Google Drive. Number five, leather it notebook. Leather it? Hmm. Anyways, I'm gonna download the template and this time I'm going to use Photoshop on my laptop to fill up the template, not my iPad. A warning here, the sizing is mislabeled. The size that I wanted is A6 on the template, but the image on their like listing here says B6. It's not B6, it's supposed to be A6. So just be wary of that. Opening both template and my drawing on Photoshop, I'm gonna start editing the template file. I'm going to layer down my background color first into a new layer, and then I'm gonna rename it just so I don't get confused. Then I'm going to cut, paste, resize and move around the like hamster and seeds and stuff just to create a pattern in the front and the back of the book. Like you don't have to do a pattern. You can just create like one big artwork for the front and the back, but I wanted a pattern. So this is how I kind of put it together. I am going to avoid the spine area because on that section, I want it to be a little bit different. I'm gonna hide all the template guidelines so that I'm just left with the artwork and save the image as a PSD file. Once again, I save it as a PSD file so that Bograce can see each layer and if they need to see the guidelines themselves, they can just bring it up. Now time to order A6 graph page, light blue bandage and ribbon, add in my artwork, and finally put 10 of them into my cart. Here is the last part of this tutorial. Number six, how to possibly save money. On each listing, you see that they have these charts that show you if you order this many, you get this much discounted. Basically, you make a bulk order, you save more money. Now, if you look at this chart here, it's in one of their blogs. It shows you that you can actually have multiple designs in each bulk. It all counts towards the discount. So for example, I am going to order these double-sided same print acrylic charms with front epoxy two inches with no accessories. I want 24 in total, which is going to give me a 46% discount. Now, instead of ordering 24 charms of just one design, I can split it between three designs. I'm gonna order eight charms for each design, which will ultimately add up to 24, unless my math is wrong. And I'm going to name the files in this way. Name, number of pieces, and which accessories. Your split actually doesn't have to be an even number as well. You can order like one charm, one charm, and 22 charms, or like three charms, four charms, and 17 charms. As long as that total adds up to 24. I think three, four, and 17 adds up to 24. Um, anyways, <laughs> so yeah, um, I, I forgot to add the whole layer, so I'm gonna fix that. After all my files are organized, I'm going to zip all three of them into a compressed file or a zip file. And then I'm going to rename it and then upload it, submit it, and it's in the cart. Yay for discounts! 
that is it for the tutorial. I did add a few more items into my cart to fill up the $250 offer, but unfortunately, the coupon doesn't cover the shipping. And on the topic of shipping, you actually don't know how much it is until after you've checked out, but it's also before you have to pay. So you can fill in the info and move on to the next page just to get a glimpse of your shipping price. I know it kind of sucks because it's always a surprise. I've actually messed around with the shipping a little bit just to see how it fluctuates. But um, it seems like just the bigger the size, even if you order just one, shipping goes up a little bit more compared to like ordering more of the small things. I'm not a math person, so don't hold me accountable to that. But that's what it seemed like. In the past though, shipping has always been around $20 to $40 for me, but this time it's $77. Like damn boy, like that $77 is actually coming out of my own pockets too. So, you know, that kind of sucks, but I guess for me, it's a small price to pay. Anyways, um, I'm going to pay for my order and here it is confirmed Sunday, January 9th, 2022. Currently, while I am editing and putting this video together, it is actually May 2022. I was waiting for the actual package to arrive and I wanted my next video to align with this video, which is why I kind of waited. I'll address the timeline and the other interactions that happen in between those months in my next video. For now, I just hope that this tutorial was better than my last one and it helps you guys a lot better. See you guys! Bye!